Hello, I'm going to be giving a review of the cheap, inexpensive $20 virtual reality headsets. Uh, this one's called Sinoculars, and I got this from Walgreens for 20 bucks. But I think pretty much uh, I've seen lots of other uh, similar devices uh, for even less. Like there's like one I saw in the, like TJ Maxx for like $16. So I, I think they're all manufactured by exactly the same company. So uh, what you're looking for is something that like has this has this door here, and it has uh, adjustable eye distance thing, so you can make your eyes closer or further apart, or the lenses further and closer apart. And it's got a uh, padded thing here. So I'm going to show you um, what you can do with this because it's it seems the biggest problem with the reviews I've seen so far is that they really don't explain what you can do with this thing. I mean, I've seen some of the advanced uh, VR helmets like the HoloLens and like uh, those cost like, you know, $2,000. So what can you do with 20 bucks? So I'm going to show you what you can do with 20 bucks. All right. So I'm going to show you some of the apps. So, but the way this works is that this has a cartridge and what you do is you take your phone and uh, you insert your phone into this cartridge. Into a cartridge like that, and then you then you have to stick this into the headset. Now the, the pain in the pain in the butt is that you have to first start the application that you want to you want to uh, play, and uh, so I have this is called Home Hometown Zombies. So you have to get that started. Then you have to stick stick your phone in here, and then you can start playing. All right, and then when you're done playing, you have to take it out and remove your phone and and change it. Now, one thing you might be wondering about is uh, once you stick this in in your phone, it's like uh, how on earth do you control this thing? Because there's no there's no uh, fire button on here. Um, this particular unit did come with this Bluetooth remote. But it's completely useless because I haven't found any applications that can actually utilize anything on this remote. Uh, this has been programmed to do things like turn the volume up and down, uh, just like you might find on a Bluetooth headset. But that really isn't very useful for playing a game. So I'm going to show you what they do. So this is a game called uh, Hometown Zombies. And what happens is that... Instead, there's that. What you have to do is that <clears throat> there's no fire button, but the, the control system is that there's this little yellow dot, and you basically have to point it at stuff. So I'm going to go and I'm going to. Yeah, I have to put this over here. I have to point it, that yellow dot, at something on the screen, and then I can. Then. What happens is that this is a shooting game, and what happens is that as long as you put the target onto something that you want to shoot at, it automatically will fire. So when you have this uh, on, your, on your helmet, you have to just keep turning, and when, when, when it sees something that can fire at, of course this is not really great because I have to turn, there's nothing straight ahead of me here I can fire at. But you can kind of see that as soon as you get close enough, you can you can start turning. Okay, so that's one cool thing you can do with uh, the VR helmet. Now there are certain there are some games where you actually do have a firing button. And the next the next game I'm going to show you is called VR Flight Sim. And this is based off the Google Cardboard interface. And what what's happened is that if you can just tap the screen, that causes it to fire. Like that. So the Google Cardboard viewer had a little cardboard button that you could press in order to do this. But the thing is, is that once you stick this inside your VR helmet, you really can't uh, click on this thing. So. I made it, uh, there's, there's a couple things you can do, which is that you can, you can actually open this window 
and kind of stick your finger in behind here and you can press the screen. But the other thing that I did is I actually drilled a hole in here so that I can stick my finger in and I can actually tap the screen while I'm playing. So that's just a 7 8 inch hole. So um, I can go ahead and I can play this game and I can then fire the guns like that. Now another game that I'm going to show you is a driving simulator. And that works by just tilting your head from, to, from the left to the right. So this is uh, like the car simulator. So you have to tap in order to accelerate. And then you can turn right, you can turn left, or you can look right or left in this game. So you can just turn left by tilting your head left, turn right by tilting your head right. That's how that works. Now there there are plenty of uh, games that you can that you, that you can get. So if you go to the App Store and you just look up VR apps, you know there's all kinds of things. Something from Discovery, uh, something from Google Cardboard. There's the the VR simulator. Uh, there's like haunted house things. There's dinosaur things. You can fly into space, go on roller coasters. So there's all kinds of applications that are available for uh, for using your headset with. So you could spend quite a bit of time just exploring all of those things that are that are available. Now, some other cool things I'm going to show you is uh, that in addition to applications, there, there's also a lot of uh, stuff on YouTube. So if you get the YouTube um, application, then you can get you can search for like VR 360. And you can find all kinds of videos that are available, like you can swim with sharks or stuff like that. And what happens is that you start, you start the video, and uh, if, if you're not using the goggles, you can still move around. But it, in order to turn on the goggles, you have to click on this little... VR icon that's in there and then it will become split screen and then at this point you have to stick your stick this into into your uh, VR helmet and you can just look around like see there I think there's, there's like shark over there if I look over over there so this is just kind of like the main advantage is that you can just pan around and the panning is very fast I mean I've this is this is a very similar to the more expensive VR helmets that the, the experience you can look up, up, look down, left, right, and so you can do things like skydiving, swim with sharks, go into space, all kinds of stuff you can do there. Okay, there's one final app that I want to show you, and this is called Google Street View. Now the cool thing about Google Street View is that uh, it's just like Google Maps, except that. Uh, you can see uh, the, the street view in 3D and you can pan around. But the, the cooler thing that I'm showing you right here is that you can actually make your own 360 degree panoramas. Uh, this application will allow you to just use your cell phone. And what it does is that it puts, it draws an orange dot in space and it'll just, you stick, you aim at that orange dot and it starts taking a picture and you just keep on moving that uh, around until you get a full. Uh, top to bottom 360 view of what you're taking a picture of and so you can create your own view and and when you're wearing the VR helmet you know what I mean? all you have to do is turn around and you can see this stuff by looking up and down like you were there so that's pretty cool so I hope by seeing this video you can see that uh, you know while this uh, VR helmet is pretty simple it's just basically some lenses and a strap uh, that uh, there's actually a lot of interesting things that you can do with this that are uh, as interesting as even the most expensive VR helmets. So um, that's why I made this video because I thought, wow, that's the coolest thing I've seen all year. Uh, you know, I don't have to spend 2000 bucks in a VR helmet. All I need is this 20 buck uh, VR goggles and my existing phone, and uh, I'm good to go.